sometime in the middle of the night, we were coming back from a gig in Bristol. Pam Young, zoo's secretary, was with us, sitting in the back with Mick Finkler and me. Bill Drummond was in the front and Dave Balfe was driving. I told Pam Young and in great detail what a satanic son of a bitch Dave Balfe was. I started flicking his ears as we drove up the empty M5 and singing petty anti-Balfe rhymes. After ten minutes of this, he pulled onto the hard shoulder and told me to get out. This appealed to me. It was coming up to 3am and we were in the middle of nowhere. Standing outside the car, I looked in on Balfe. I smiled. I'm not fucking coming back, he spluttered. Oh, I'd better leave my shoes in the car, I said. The road was wet and there was virtually no traffic. I'm going. Okay, David. I did a little jig in the middle of the motorway and waved them off. See you in a while. I started to walk up the motorway. I should have brought my jacket, I thought. I carried on gingerly. My feet began to freeze. So I took my sodden socks off and held them in my hand. I figured they'd be back in 10 minutes. I had no watch, so 20 minutes seemed like an hour. I kept walking and walking, it was just like a bad hitch. I was cool, certainly at a degree cooler than Dave Smurf features Balf. Still no sign. I sat on a motorway crash barrier and raised my aching red feet in an effort to keep them warm. No car, no Balf. I began to grow uncomfortable. I mean, a twilight like that. Maybe Bill Drummond could persuade him. Maybe Bill Drummond couldn't persuade him, but surely Mick could. I mean, Mick Finkler hates Dave Balfe almost as much as I do. Finally, a car screamed by in the opposite direction. It was Balfe Citroen. Ten minutes later, he had found the nearest intersection, made the turn and roared up to me. I was freezing cold, soaking wet and beaten. Hi, Balfe. Where are you going? Get in, Julian. I'm fucking pissed off as hell. I wouldn't have come back if Bill wasn't in the car. Bill leaned over from the passenger seat and looked up at me. He told me they'd driven 25 miles before he could persuade Balfi to turn around. You know, I'm fine walking, Balfi. If I were you, I'd get off home. This has been quite an evening for you. I was pushing my luck. I knew it. Any minute now, he'd be off for good. I got in the car. As a favour to you, Davey. And we drove off on full wind-up power.